اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى ليوم الدين ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي مدد يا أولياء الله مدد سيد سلطان الله سيد الشيخ عبد الله الفائز داغستاني سيد شيخ محمد ناظم عاد الحقاني مدد سيد شيخ محمد عبد رباني أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية Our way is companionship of the good ones and goodness is in the gatherings under the permission and the guidance of good ones <clears throat> Alhamdulillah Allah granted me to visit Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad recently and spend some time in his holy presence and it was uh, such a, a favor and a grant from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be able to be in his presence again it took 10 months since the last trip until I got there, I had made intention to go many times when he was in the UK and before that. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me that opportunity a few weeks ago. And I, I'm still overwhelmed by the presence of Mawlana Sheikh Muhammad and his humility and his sweetness and his manifesting the beauty and of the prophetic lights of the prophetic mercy it is such a an honor to <clears throat> to spend time with him alhamdulillah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after maulana sheikh nazim veiled himself from this world that he Grant us to know and accept Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad, the one who is carrying his secret, the one who is dressed with that station of power and light and mercy, the one <coughs> who is carrying a tariqa siddiqiyya, tariqa of Sayyidina Abu Bakr siddiq and Naqshabandiyya al Aliya, and to be connected to a holy one nowadays is such a a grant from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a mercy uh, that he bestows on his abid as he likes what can I say there's a, a hikmah of Sayyidina Ibn Ata'illah as secondary al hikam al he was one of the great walis uh, from Egypt in, in the tariqa al shadhuliya and he wrote uh, hikam means specific spiritual wisdoms that sum up a uh, whole way of uh, living according to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala living as a true servant it is said that all his wisdoms all his hikam all his all the wisdoms he wrote down and mentioned, they all circle around one theme, which is la hawla wa la quwata illa billah al al azim. And if you take every hikmah and to its to its uh, pure essence, it is teaching us to be in la hawla wa la quwata illa billah al al azim. But there is a hikmah that Mawlana Ibn Ata'illah mentions that fits my experience with Mawlana Sheikh Muhammad recently and that is, is he says من لا لا تصاحب من لا ينهضك حاله ولا يدلك على الله مقاله he said do not accompany those من لا ينهضك حاله do not accompany those who just the fact that just being in their presence invigorates your state his state just being in his presence invigorates you motivates you enables you to be a better servant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
is so Sayyidina Ibn Atala says, don't accompany people who don't do that to you. Don't accompany people who when you're in their presence, you're you don't want to do be a better servant. You don't want to do more. You you you're you're not able to worship better. You're not able to uh, obey better your Lord. He said, don't accompany them. And the one who their speech does not guide you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he talks about two things, the state of that person and his speech. And subhanAllah, in the presence of Mawlana, like a rocket, you, you fly. And after Ramadan, it is becomes, uh, the barakah of Ramadan becomes a struggle sometimes to to do as much as one can do and you have to struggle and fight to your himma to to uh, be able to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to to obey as you should and so forth it becomes a struggle but when you when I went to Mawlana Sheikh Muhammad uh, just by being in his presence you you are able to do everything as he is doing, you are following him and you are able to do it with ease. His hal, his state, brings you, brings you power. Being in his presence brings your ability and power to do. And this is evident in when you visit Mawlan Sheikh Muhammad. We were sleeping a few hours and uh, in night is short. And uh, we were up with the, for Tahajjud and uh, the Fajr Awrad and going with him to the Zawiya in Baylor Bay and coming, he was all day busy, able to move, not feel tired. <clears throat> Subhanallah. And uh, I mentioned that also Mawlana Sheikh Mahmoud is uh, one thing I noticed about him is his per perfection in managing time which is which is nothing but miraculous many of us may able to carry things day in maybe two days maybe five days maybe a week without faltering but uh, Sheikh Muhammad is able to day in day out like clockwork he has the success and ability to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with, per, with perfection, with ihsan, without missing a beat. And if you spend time with him, he only speaks what is necessary or beneficial. He only moves, when it, he, he only does what is necessary or beneficial. He's either serving people or he's worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's always in that state and reminds me of the saying, the Sufi saying, Ajallu al-Karamat. This is also, Mawlana Sheikh Nazim used to mention this. Ajallu al-Karamat dawamu tawfiq That the greatest of miracles that real awliya exhibit is their consistency. They are consistent in succeeding. They succeed consistently in doing according to Allah's pleasure consistently not like this one day and one day like that one hour like this one hour like that and subhanallah i saw this uh, in these past few weeks just spending time around maulana i was really astonished at how uh, lightly he carries that state may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant maulana sheikh muhammad long life and grant us also and you now it's almost uh, it's eight years since uh, Sultan Awliya Mawlana Sheikh Nazim veiled himself, uh, left this dunya, and uh, Alhamdulillah that he left us someone like Mawlana Sheikh Muhammad, someone who is dressed with uh, prophetic humility and beauty and mercy, and. Uh, uh, leaving us in his hands 
Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah grant us to see him many times, visit him often. And alhamdulillah, we asked him to visit us here in all the way in the northern hemisphere, in the headquarters of uh, materialism. And he gave us, inshallah, good tidings. He said, inshallah, if everything okay, maybe next year he will come to Canada to visit us. So, alhamdulillah, we are sitting here by Maulana's permission. We are not asking to be leader or teacher or shaykh or on anyone. Inshallah, our intention is to serve our shaykh, serve Prophet Sallallahu faith. And <clears throat> spread this, be means of spreading this mercy, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, to as many people as possible. That's our intention. We're making big intentions. And we're inviting anyone in Northern America who wants to work with us, who wants to uh, be of service to Naqshbandi Ali Tariqa, to our Sheikh Mulan Sheikh Muhammad, to inshallah help if they can, they are most welcome. And inshallah we can work together, we can bring Mawlana here, and uh, inshallah his visit will be a big opening and will bring a lot of light and mercy, inshallah, to this continent. And <clears throat> اللهم صل على من هو من منه انشقت الأسرار وانفلقت الأنوار يا رب التوبة ابن ورجعنا إليك لا منج منك إلا إليك الله الله may Allah accept from us may Allah make us sincere ones for his for his religion for his sincere servants for his religion for his servants may Allah take away any any obstacles that stop us between in the way of being true servants and grant us understanding inshallah and ability to to serve our teachers